London's like New York. If you can make it in London, you can make it anywhere. But you've got to be in London, all right? But get your pen and paper out right now. Do you have what it takes to advance? Because advancement is going to come from taking a bold step. Martin Luther King said, faith is taking the first step without seeing the staircase. But the reality is we've seen far beyond the staircase here. We've seen people who have gone to places that we want to go. We've seen Augustine, you're the co-host, by the way. Right? We've seen people who have gone to places where we want to go. We've seen people advance their life and their dreams and their goals. And we have a rising actual expectation of what can happen for us. But so your question is, do I have what it takes to advance? Do I have on tonight, today's call, are there, are there any trailblazers? Are there any people to fight for their freedom? Are there any people who are willing to say, you know what, I'm willing to go above and beyond to make sure that I go through that railroad track to success? that I go on the uncharted territory, that I don't go right when everyone else goes right, I go left when everybody else is going right. You see, right now, we have an incredible pioneer. I call her the Harriet Tubman of Forex. My rich mama, Dr. Kathy Kirkland. Dr. Kathy was willing, let me see if you guys can hear me. Can you still hear me? Amit, Amit. No, 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 bro. Hold on. You muted, bro. Cody, you know. Hold on. Nay, stop, stop, stop. Hold on. Let's press on mute. Okay, can you hear me? Yeah, all good. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. I can hear you now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never seen that happen before. The devil's a liar. Some crazy stuff coming up on my, my, on my thing. Okay, good. So we have an incredible lady and in Dr. Kathy Kirkland who was going through the actual weaving through the minds, weaving through so many different difficulties to make sure that we could have freedom. But do you have what it takes to step and advance to success? Do you really have it? Well, I want you to understand that we're fighting a war right now. We are fighting a war, the war on poverty, the war on mediocrity. You see, there's rich, there's wealthy, there's poor and there's middle class. And the middle class is going away. And we're getting far closer now just to poor and rich. And if you do not fight right now, if you do not advance right now, you will find yourself slipping back into a place you don't want to go to. All right? And this is what today's call is, is, are you ready to advance to the next level? You see, on this picture that you see on the screen right now, can you still hear me, by the way, Augustine, yeah? Good. On this picture that you see on the screen, I was actually looking at Table Mountain. I was looking at Table Mountain in this picture. And we were actually on our way to Robin Island, where, of course, Robin Island is where you have Nelson Mandela. He was in captivity for 18 years. And he was fighting for freedom. He was fighting. But you've got to understand today, guys, we are also still fighting for freedom. We're fighting for time freedom. We're fighting for financial freedom. And many people, even on today's call, are drifting drifting not giving up the fight it's it's, it's oh it's winter time oh i want to just stay in bed i don't want to share the gift i don't want to trade oh this happened that happened but you've got to be willing to fight so with that being said guys i've prepared something to really get us into the mindset of where we're heading right now so augustine please let me know if you can hear this when i'm about to play right now can you see that and can you hear it let it play i can see it can you hear that no. Oh, come on. Really? One second. Can you hear it now? No. You can't hear it? No. Okay, you can hear me. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, so I'm gonna just I'm gonna talk over it, guys. If anyone ever recognizes this book, this book and this movie, uh, it's called The Twelve Years of okay. Slavery. Can you see the film? Uh-huh. Yeah. Yes. It was kidnapped and sold into slavery. All right? Kidnapped and sold into slavery. Some of us find ourselves where we were born to win, but we were programmed to fail. We were born to win, but programmed to fail, guys. And you see, this man, as he says in the film, unfortunately, we can't hear it. As he says in the film, he says, I was a free man. I was born a free man. Everyone on today's call was born free. We're born free. His name, he said his name is Solomon Norfolk. I'm a free man. And he says, 
You're not a free man. You're nothing but a Georgia runaway. Guys, if you're willing to step out, if you're willing to step out, you have to be in a place in your life where you say, you know what? I must fight. I must fight. You know, you, your fight might be paying your monthly fee right now. That may be a fight, but you've got to understand that freedom is beyond. Freedom is yonder, all right? If you will continue to take the steps, if you continue to take the steps, then we will be saying your name years and years from now, you'll be leaving a lasting legacy. Let me see if I can continue to play it. I know the audio. Let me know as soon as you can hear the audio. Right. Here we go. The man says on the video, he says, a man does how he feels with his property. You've got to ask yourself today, where in my life am I being enslaved? Where in my life am I being enslaved? Who has control over my freedom right now? What am I willing to do to attain freedom? Let me know if you can hear this, Augustine. If you can't hear it, no problem. No audio, bro. No worries. I'm going to keep going. Can you hear me, though? You can hear my voice over it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, great. So this lady that we see on the screen right now, let me just spotlight the video. This lady we see on the, sp on the screen is Harriet Tubman. And Harriet Tubman was a free woman. She had her freedom. She'd ran away to freedom. She'd gone all the way to the north. And guess what? Look, we can see in the clip right now. She said, don't you dare. And he says, I would rather die than stay here. I'd rather die for my freedom. Right? And guess what, guys? Freedom tastes sweet. We've got people like Dr. Kathy Kirkland, who's made millions in this industry. We've got people like Dr. Jewel Tankard. We've got people like Dr. China Beffley, Wayne Lodge. These people came back. Jazz Williams came back. They didn't have to come back. The hardest thing, guys, is when you have freedom to then go and forsake that freedom. She did whatever it took to be a free woman. And when you're going for freedom, guys, you're going to expect warfare. You see, warfare is this. Coming home from work. This is a warfare. You're doing your nine till five and you come home from work. You're exhausted, but you still get on that team call at 7 p.m. at night. You still get on that team call at 8 p.m. You're still showing this at 12 p.m. in the afternoon. 12 p.m. On, on your lunch break, you're bringing people into your lunchroom and you're sharing it with them. You see, the most important factor we have here, guys, is time. You can always make more money, but we can't make more time. But guess what? Harriet Tubman, Dr. Kathy Kirkland, right? These people had the freedom, and guess what? They still fought for us. They're still fighting for us on a day-by-day -day basis. You think freedom is easy? It's not easy. The enemy's going to attack you from the north, the south, the east, and the west. But you've got to be willing to go through that fight. These people set to say, listen, we're going to kill her. We are going to kill Harriet. She is causing too much freedom. But I promise you today, if you are today on today's call and you're willing to do whatever it takes to be free, I promise you we'll be having your name down in history as well. You see, what Platinum 1000 represents is 30 lives taken to freedom. What Platinum 2000 represents is 75 lives taken to freedom. What Platinum 5000 represents is 225 lives taken to freedom. Do I have any freedom fighters on today's call? Who is a real freedom fighter that says, you know what? I'm not going to see my friends, my family, my co-workers in shackle any longer. Who is ready to fight for their freedom? Because the more lives you set free, the first life you must set free is yourself, number one, right? But the more lives that you set free, the more you will leave a lasting legacy. So when we're seeing Chairman 500, and Chairwoman 500, that is not for just the sake of it. That's 30,000 families. Guys, the opposition is going to be there. But you've got to be willing to fight. You've got to be willing to continue to step and advance and advance and advance. You've got to find out today, what is my freedom worth? What is my freedom worth? What am I willing to do that others won't? So I can have tomorrow what others can't. Right? Freedom, I'm looking in the chat box. 
When going for freedom, you must face warfare. You can make more money, but you can't make too more time. You must be willing to do whatever it takes to fight. Let me know if you can hear the audio, audio, Augustine. No. No problem. Guys, look at that. What is whipping you right now? What is whipping you right now? When you literally are going to your job and you're seeing all this wealth over here. As I said, Harriet Tubman, she was free. And you know what? She came back down to the South. And they said, why would you come back? And she says, I could not be enjoying the laps of luxury and all the freedom and know that my people are in bondage. Her husband was unfaithful. So that one of the slave masters threw a brick and, and tempted to get somebody else. And she was in the way. And she, she suffered from seizures until the day that she died. Seizures and blackouts. You've got to have a big vision, guys, when it comes to your trading account. What's your big vision for financial freedom? Don't just be tootering around the harmonic scanner. Don't be tootering around the ECC 11. When it's going to give you your freedom that you truly desire. But you see, the difference is we're not just talking about North Carolina. We're not just talking about London. We're not just talking about Miami. We're not just talking about Germany. We're talking about worldwide freedom. Who on today's call is serious about engaging in warfare for success? Who on this call understands that it's going to be cold? It's going to be weary. You see, this time right now, if you go hard in this season, winter period right now, this will set up your next 10 years. Next year will be crazy. It's lights out, 2020. But it'll set up your next 10 years of your life. But you know what? You've got to bring supplies. We've got a map. We have the roadmap to success. We have already treaded on that way and on that way and on that way. The leaders are here. Dr. Jewel Tankard is here. But how many of you are calling her from mentorship? Harriet Tubman's here. How many of you are on Dr. Kathy Kirkland's sessions? How many of you are reaching out to your mentor and saying, I'm the one? You see, if we were on a slave yard, if we were in a plantation right now, if we were in a plantation, this is what would be happening. We'd be working 16-hour days, 18-hour days, no food, no drink. This is how people are today right now. Sad news that two weeks ago in the UK, there was found that was 34 people inside a wagon that they had been killed. They, they just, just modern-day slavery, human trafficking. Guys, when you don't share this gift, Look what happened in the Middle Passage. Our forefathers, our ancestors, 39, I'm seeing Augustine says, even more. The opportunity that you have in your hands right now, if people 200 years ago could have what you have, the tears, the, the disappointment right now, because you're not going all in. You're not going all in. We've got the books. We've got the audio tapes. But it's on you. Freedom costs. There is a cost to freedom. But if you want to be free, you have to do whatever it takes. You have to, there's going to be times where your family just don't get it. You know, I never wanted a good life. I wanted a great life. If anyone on tonight's call or today's call, does anyone want a great life? Does anyone really just not want to stop looking at the right side of the menu, look at the price first, and then looking at what you're going to eat instead of eating chicken all the time? Does anyone want the best, finest steak? Does anyone really want the Forex lifestyle? Does anyone really want the true networker's lifestyle so you can have time, money, and financial freedom? If you help enough people get what they want, you can have everything you want. It doesn't matter where you're coming from. It doesn't matter your background. What matters is, are you willing to fight? Are you willing to go up against that boss? Are you willing to book that event ticket right now? Are you willing to book that event ticket right now? Because if not, unfortunately, you're going to die on the ship. I remember when we listened to Les Brown, he says there was a graveyard. And at the graveyard is the most wealthiest place on earth. It's not in California where the gold is. It's not in Sierra Leone. It's not in Silicon Valley. The most wealthiest place on earth is a graveyard. Because all those people have well wishes. They say on the road to heaven, sorry, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. But you've got to step out of your comfort zone. 
This is not just a Zoom thing. Oh, my friend didn't join on the Zoom call tonight or didn't join yesterday. So, oh, you know, oh, well, that's not how you build this business. You do whatever it takes. You see, if there was literally four or five people on a plantation, right, and a thousand slaves, if there was a thousand slaves on the plantation and there was literally four or five who said, you know what, we're willing to fight. We are willing to fight to get out of this situation. You've got to make sure that that's you. There's going to be five who literally say, you know what, we're going to make this happen. One of them are going to quit. They said they talk a good game. They're going to quit. The hounds are going to come. But you've got to, you've got to quit crying and moaning and say, I'm sick of this. I'm sick of this person. I'm staying with this man. He's not helping me. I'm staying with this woman. And you've got the best vehicle. You've got people barking at you. You've got redundancy. You've got all of this situation. So many people are saying to you, you cannot do it. You cannot do it. There's your boss whipping you, whipping you, whipping you. And we've got wealth here. We have wealth right in front of us. But I want to know who's ready to leave the plantation once and for all. Who is ready? If you're ready, unmute and say, I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready. ready. I'm 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 ready. Come on, team. I'm ready, bro. I promise you this. There's going to be great people. I'm ready. Listen, this isn't a black and white thing. This isn't a black and white thing, right? There's going to be people who are going to come along your way who are going to support you. Right? As you see in that film, who supported him? It was Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt supported him to freedom. So guys, instead of 12 years a slave, you've been in slavery too long. You've been in slavery at your job. Some of you are at your job right now. It's too long. Maybe someone just needs to shake you up and say, listen, we've got wealth over here. The North, there's freedom. It's going to be treacherous. There's going to be people who are going to see you've been hung. There's going to be people who've literally just given up. There's going to be people saying, you know what? Man, there's no point. But Jay-Z said this. Trap my body, can't lock my mind. Easily explains why we adapt to crime. I'd rather die enormous than live dormant. That's how we're on it. So it doesn't matter if you are in a cell block tower. It doesn't matter if you're in a nine to five right now. You cannot have a nine to five mentality. You've got to be saying, I am getting free. You need all the money on the table. You don't just need the, tra the trading money. You need the residual money. You don't just need the residual money. You need the trading money. But what is your plan? What is your plan to success? The first most important plan you've got to do right now. The first most important plan you've got to do right now is you've got to be around all the people who have set their course to freedom. And that course right now is in London. February 2020. Who's got 2020 vision? If you got 2020 vision, put it in the chat. I want to see who's booked for London. I am London. There's going to be more and more success stories on that stage. More and more people who are chasing their freedom. Christopher Terry, the CEO of the company. He was involved in drugs. He had a terrible upbringing. No one around him, but he fought his way to success, to freedom, and he set so many people free with his vision. But who is coming to London? Who's getting booked? Who's making excuses? You see, us from Europe, we don't make no excuses. We came to the US. We'll keep coming to the US. But all the people in the US right now, are you making excuses for your greatness? That's what I want to know. You got people in London who are not even going to be coming to London. That's crazy. The time is now to book your tickets to voyage to success you've got to have brass brass toughness for this guys worldwide freedom alex morton will be there made over 20 million in the last seven years he'll be there freedom mr david Imonitier. who is booked right now who's booked i want to see in the chat box who is booked? Because you see all of these incredible individuals who, guess what? They've got the freedom that we want. You see, 13 months ago, I saw this incredible gentleman on Instagram. I was hunting for freedom. I was tired of working with my coaching clients and being burnt out. I was praying for freedom. 
But when God says the time is now, the time is now. He will send the right people from the north, south, east, and west. But if you're not booked, if you're not in line, if you're not in line of where success happens, you will not make it. He won't bring the right people. I was destined for greatness. I always knew it, but I knew it wasn't, an in, it wasn't just me. There was going to be people around me. Women, boss ladies, chairman 25s, chairman 50s are going to be there. Our mentor of mentors, Dr. Jewel Tankard. This lady owns two private planes. There's a mansion. Got a nanny. Got cooks. Got so many properties. But you have to be around the source of success, the law of proximity. I'm seeing different ones in the books. Booked. I'm seeing Elaine Charles. Booked. Augustine's booked. Dora's booked. Tony's booked. Bridget's booked. Emmanuel's booked. Sharid's booked. Who else? You mean to tell me out of 78 people, 10 people are booked. Guys, if you do not participate in your own rescue, then just stay in the plantation. There's so many ways to get wealthy here. I'm seeing more people. There's so many ways to get wealthy, but you've got to stay in the rhythm of success, as my mentor Dwayne Lodge always says. You've got to stay in the rhythm. Freedom is worth every price that we pay for it. Do not say, oh, I want to go this way. I want to try it this way. I'm going to do it this way. Oh, we're not going to plug into this system. Guess what, guys? If you don't plug into the right system, you will never attain the freedom. I'm going to show you an individual. Guys, inspiration is inspiration. This is a gentleman in a different business. He grew up literally in the council area. I'm not sure what that would be called in the USA. Right, but he was he had a tough life. His parents really, really had it bad. But he made it out to freedom. He's one of the top networkers in the world, earning well over a hundred thousand a month. Well over. And you know what? Because of where he came from, because of where and what he's done, he's set so many people free. He's inspired them. Guys, you've got to stay around success. Well, I've got to know right now who is ready to advance. Who's ready to do whatever it takes? There's people out there with their heads down. There's children who are going hungry because you're not sharing the information. Because you're not sharing. There are people who are going hungry because you're not sharing. Because you're not taking your trading serious. So yes, you'll be free. You'll live in the lap of luxury. But the reality is how many people around you are going to live in the lap of luxury? How many people are you going to set free? Who on today's call is ready to step forth once and for all to make a decision to cut off from any other option, to stop moaning and whining, but say, you know what? I'm going on this voyage. I'm going on this battleship. If I die, I die. If I live, I live, but I cannot remain where I am right now. I cannot stay in this situation. The ship is ready. We're ready to sail onto freedom. All I need to know is right now, who's ready? Born ready, bro. Ready? I'm, I'm, ready. Ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. He says, I'm ready. How can Uber Lyft drivers all week prepare for the event? I'm ready. Guys, stop waiting. Stop waiting for the perfect scenario. There's no perfect time to have a child. There's no perfect time to get married, and there's no perfect time to build this business. Stop waiting. You've got to decide, you know what? I don't care what anybody says. I don't care about the sleepless nights. I don't care about waking up early. I don't care about watching IML TV until my eyes bleed. I've got to get this. Stop telling yourself a reason why you can't do it and go out there and get it done. If you are sick and tired of being sick and tired, then we've already got a picture of success. It's in London. We've all got a picture of success. Dr. Kathy Kirkland, Dr. China Beckley, Rashad Duncan. We've got Alex Morton. We've got David Imanite. You should be absorbing your mind every day. We don't buy gadgets. We, this, I bought this to watch YouTube all day long. That, that's all I bought it for, to watch YouTube all day long. That's all I want to do. I have my YouTube account, and I just have it running premium, and it's just watching YouTube all day long. David Imanite's house. It's just there. All day long. $10,000 a 
calls per month would be success. Come on, guys. But there's some of you on this call right now that have already made $10,000 per month. Guys, so now at this point, I would love to open the lines to some of my incredible mentors, the people who set me free. I thought I was doing well before, but I was in poverty because I didn't have the time. I didn't have the money. And I said, you know what? I'm willing to be coachable. I'm willing to call my mentor more. I'm willing to do whatever it takes. So I'm going to unmute right now some of our incredible leaders who have already gone into success and have come back for us. You should be praying for your leaders on a day-by-day -day basis because the leaders are the ones who get attacked most. The followers, they just go through the roll, the, the roll raid track. You know what Harriet Tubman said? They said, well, Harriet, you saved so many lives. And she said, I would have saved thousands more only if they knew that they were slaves. Only if they knew that they weren't free. So the first person I'm going to unmute, and I know this is very unscripted, I hope she's able to speak, but my mentor, Dr. Kathy Kirkland. I want to unmute Dr. Kathy because I know she's going to have a word for us. So Dr. Kathy, if you could just share really what freedom has meant for you and why you've gone so hard to ensure that freedom is for so many of us. So let me see if Dr. Kathy is available. Then the next person, if we have Dr. China, I don't know if we have her. If we have Dwayne Lodge, Sean James, feel free, guys. Unmute. And Jazz Williams, let me know if you are able to unmute. I would love to hear from our pioneers, our leaders. I see them online. Let me see. Okay, let's see. Okay. Right. What I'm going to do is, in the meanwhile, I'm going to loop right now, because I know they're going to come on. In the meanwhile, I'm going to loop through. And I'm going to ask each individual, Emmanuel, what are you willing to do for freedom? Emmanuel and Papa, once and for all. Yeah, I'm probably busy. Yeah. Um, yes, brother. And I want five seconds. We've got to go through a lot of people. One statement. What are you willing to do for freedom? Emmanuel Papa. Whatever time I have left between other responsibilities that I have, which is securing the roof over my head for the food on my table. Part of that, nothing else is more important in my life than getting this home. Getting this home. Let's go. That's it. Let's go. Nothing else. Nothing, nothing else. else. You're done. Amazing. So, Emmanuel, that is it. You see, when I say it, that's one thing. When you say it, it's a whole different level of belief. But you've got to make a decision and say, I'm going on this voyage. If some go with me, no worries. If no one comes with me, no worries. Sometimes you have to set your sail. Lead your ship is leadership. Oh, some people fell off the boat. My team retraced back. I'm unranked. Onward go. Onward we go. Onward we go. Right? I see, it says in that song, Break Every Chain. In the song of Break Every Chain, it says, there's an army rising up. Does anyone know that song? I hear the chains falling. Does anybody hear the chains falling right now? The next person I'm going to bring to the call is Mr. Sean James, an incredible mentor who literally has gone on to freedom. He's been successful in the corporate world for several, several decades, but he's come into this space to impact and leave a legacy and to set us all free. So Mr. Sean James, bro, take it away. Wow, Nathan. Wow, wow, wow. Man, I'm always honored. Um, I'm, I'm definitely blessed to hear you. Guys, let me tell you something. First of all, I don't, if I can help it, I don't try to ever, ever miss this call because you never know when you're going to hear that one thing that's just going to put on that switch for you. Nathan, that was one of the most awesome presentations on Rise and Profit I've ever seen with a, a movie and the background. Look, it was even good not having the sound. I loved you narrating the success path you know, with it. So, I mean, that's, I'm, I'm thinking like, man, I want to do that next time. But look, guys, look, here's all I can say. And, and I have some of my leaders on the call from my team and, and all the other ones. I'm blessed to be before you always. You just got to be here. You got to be here. And if here's, here's how I think. If I have to be here because I made a decision that I want to change my life, then don't just be here and be non-productive. OK, don't be in this space and don't fight for your freedom. OK, to do work. Now, some of you are, are busy. I know life, kids, this, that and everything else. But here's the thing. 
carve out part of your day because here's what I tell myself every day when I wake up. I'm getting, <laughs> and I'm going to get deep with you. I apologize, but I'm going to get right into it. I'm a day closer to death. Mm. Okay. I'm a day closer to death. I don't, I don't know. You, you see, you know, John Witherspoon, you know, passed and we have some other icons that have passed and they left great legacies along their life, but they didn't know when their last day was. The question is, what are you going to do each and every single day? Are you going to keep grinding for the job? Okay. And be a closer, a day closer to death? Or are you going to say, you know what? I have a legacy to leave. I have uh, a mission to do. I decide, I, I chose that I want to be successful. Some of you are on the fence still questioning, can you be a multimillionaire? And here's the question. When you decided to, to become an IBO and build, you have made the decision that you're already going to move forward. Now you need to go ahead and continue to just do the activity to do it. The decisions made. Stop questioning yourself. You're here. It's not by accident that you're in the group that you're with. It's not an accident that you're on this call listening to these nuggets. It's not an accident. You're not an accident. You're not. Mm. You guys got to just keep moving. Now, don't don't get me wrong. Is it is it is it hard some days? Yeah. Is there days that I question, am I going to make it to chairman? You know, not really. But what I question is when I see the retracement in my back office, when I see, man, I fought so hard to get 20, 30 memberships up and I'm back 35. Hmm. But you can't stop. It's not a mistake. This is the journey that a chairman goes through. And I'm sure Dr. Kathy Kirkland can speak better and Randy Webb and Dwayne Lodge. Guys, I'm still fighting to get there, but each and every day, all of you help you know, help me to keep on going. Look, close the back door. Okay. Just like Harry told me, you know, she took a gun and she told people, look, you're not going back. And if you go back, I'm going to kill you because I, you can't sacrifice our freedom. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just because you got weak, you're not going to, you're, you're, you're not going to sacrifice what we've been doing for. Look, close the back door. There's no backwards to this thing. Tell your mom, dad, cousin, brother, everybody who says, I don't believe in you. You look, you sit them aside and say, you know what? Hey, I, I showed it to you, but I'm moving forward. Don't let anybody talk you off the trail. Hmm. Okay. Don't, hmm. don't give up on yourself. You're worthy. You're, you're, you're supposed to be here. It's not an accident. None of this is an accident. This is your destiny. You're destined for greatness. You're destined to make it to chairman. You have to be on that stage, mm. but you got to do some work. That's all I got. Nathan, awesome. Thank you. Fire, 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 fire. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. Guys, that is it. You are destined. Stay on the track. You've got to see yourself on that stage. But understand this. If you get off right now, we will be on stage. We will be on stage. If you decide to retrace, if you decide to not pay your membership, if you decide not to be here a year from now, you will be haunted by the memory of today's call because there were some people who made a decision to say, I'm ready to fight for my freedom. You will be haunted with the regret of who you could be, who you truly could be if you just ripped off all of the excuses, all of the mediocrity. Guys, go out there and fight for your dreams. Nobody should have to pump you to want you to be free. Nobody should say, are you going to host the next call? Nobody should say, you're going to drive and show your next person. Oh, I've showed everybody. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, you know what? You don't want freedom, do you? You want a story to say why it's okay to be mediocre. Good is the enemy of great. So I want to know on today's call, who is ready to take that step to advance to greatness, who is booking their tickets for I Am London today, and who is going to outwork what they did yesterday, the day before that, and the day before that? Who is going to make sure that they become the next P150? Put your rank in the chat. Because I tell you right now, it is success is a progressive realization of a worthy ideal. Put your rank in the chat. And what you are willing, not only your rank, but what you are willing to do to hit that rank. And what day? I'm so happy and grateful now. Put it in the chat. Break the chains, guys. There's more than us. There's angels that are supporting your success. But all you have to do is say, you know what? I'm ready to go. I'm ready to make it happen.
That's all I've got, guys. But you've got to see it. You've got to hear it. You've got to touch it. You've got to feel it. I see Elaine Charles says P600, whatever it takes. The first step is do everything what is coachable. I'm seeing one person who's responding in the chat. P600, whatever it takes. What is your date for P600? What are you willing to do today? What are you willing to drive to today? What are you willing to do right now? There's power, guys. There's power inside you. But you've got to stop saying to yourself, I don't deserve it. It's not me. Sean says, I'm ready. Sean says, I'm ready. I'm thankful and grateful now. I'm a chairman. 10 by December 20th. Good is the enemy of great. Chairman, December 31st. P1000 by February 2020. Guys, whenever anyone gives me their date, I had a, I had a call today with one of our leaders. And our leaders told me a date for her Platinum 1000. And she'll tell you. And I was like, I think it was like, November 28th. And I said, oh yeah, that's November 18th, right? There's another November 28th. That's a November 18th, right? Then we put a plan together of how that could happen in literally one week from now. Freedom, you need freedom now. Where's the army rising up? Where's the army? Guys, first break the chains of your mind and set yourself free. And that's me, guys. Let's get back to work. This has been a rise in profit call 2019. We will see who will stick to their words. We're going to see you stuck to their words who fought for freedom because we're going to see you on that stage. We're going to see you trading results. We're going to see you leveling up, living your best life. The army is here, guys. Fight for your freedom. Let's go, brother. Thank you for the call, brother. Tens, bro. Tens, Nate. Tens. Thank, Thank you so much for this, man. Let's go, bro. Awesome. Let's Thank go. you, man. Bye-bye. Thank you, man. Bye-bye. Thank you. 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 All don't right. Wait. Don't wait for someone to unlock your chains. Unlock the chains right now. Bob Marley says, emancipate yourself from mental slavery. None but ourselves can free our mind. None but you can do it. Don't the chains them. are broken. Who hears the chains, guys? You've got to ask after this call. Get on your knees and say, Lord, it's hard, it's tough, but I need you. I'm ready to take my life to the next level. I'm ready to set people free. I promise you guys, it will happen, it will click. We are with you every step of the way. I see so many chairmen on today's call. I see so many six and seven figure traders on this call. I see so many people who've been able to quit their nine to five and live full time. That is our rise and profit call. Set yourself free. God is good. Let's make this happen. Let's go.